Hello, sisters. How y'all doing today? Y'all ready for the movie? I am. Let's get ready to roll the tape. And this is what the scene two and take two. Come on in. Bring your Kool Aid, your cocktail, your water. Bring your food and snack and sit with me. Uh, and we're gonna chit, sit and chat today. Okay. So let's roll the tape. Y'all, y'all see what we're eating? Let's say prayers and we're going to talk about this stuff. Okay? Okay. Oh, Father God, I just want to say thank you for taking awesome care of me, for giving us for the sins we committed against you by any word, need or thought. Have your way in each and every one of our lives in the name of Jesus. I ask that this food is nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Hey, Hustas. Thank y'all for coming on in. Y'all, I haven't been uh, taping anything because I am focused on the packing uh, of my apartment. So, uh, I'm going to tell y'all, this is the week. This is countdown. But let's talk about this food, this Sunday meal or the church meal. Y'all, we have some oven-baked chicken. We have some seasoned rice with some of the gravy. And then we have some buttered seasoned corn. I was going to put some rolls in the oven, but it, it was just too late. Uh, so we don't have no bread. And I really wanted some bread, y'all. I got them yeast rolls that I had on another video. I don't know if y'all saw it. Probably not. I haven't loaded anything either. Y'all, um, this is the last meal that will be cooked in this house. This is the last Sunday of the cooked meal in this space. The next meal y'all will see somewhere down the road. It would, I don't want this until I taste it. Um, it will be in my new place. Honey, everything is in a box. So, you know, this these pots and... And just a couple of glasses, they're going to be in the box by Wednesday, and then I'm done. So, yeah, y'all, we're going to the new place. I was, I go there every week, and yesterday I was with Yolanda, and um, we was there for like an hour and a half, just, you know, standing up in that kitchen on the island, just talk, 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 talking and catching up, you know. So, look here, y'all, let's say cheers. Cheers for a beautiful night. Salud, salud. Let's sip, sip this good hood stuff. Cheers, y'all. Thank y'all for coming. That's a weak drink. Did I really put some vodka in there? <laughs> Don't taste like it. But that's okay. It's early. <laughs> but it's, it's a quarter to seven here. Oh, y'all, I tell you, everything is, I'm, I'm marking everything off the, uh, off the list, y'all. There you go. Yum, yum, give me some, y'all, it's hot. Y'all saw the smoke. And let me tell y'all what I learned on last Friday. Well, this past Friday. Mmm. Oh, it's hot. Mmm. That's good, y'all. Want some Louisiana hot sauce? Y'all already know we got this on the table. I called AT and T, and um, to schedule my internet service off because I have to um, use somebody else who wired that building, and so that they already scheduled to come out to turn that on. So, um, I asked the lady what was, what was my package because I don't know y'all. So, she told me and so I said, wait a minute. So, she looked six months back to see how, how much I'm online and, you know, streaming because y'all know I work at home and I need my internet for interviews and meetings as well at, at work. Mm. Oh, that's hot. That's good though. Mm. I didn't even blow that. And uh, the package that the company tried to sell me, I didn't even need that package. Here go this good coin, y'all. There you go. 
and uh, she took. Uh oh, I just jumped that out of that plate. Y'all saw that? Don't worry about it. She told me to uh, tell her what the packages were, and I did. She said, "Don't you, don't you do that?" So she told me what package I needed. So I emailed them to let them know. I didn't want the package that the girl tried to sell me. So, uh, I always say this. <laughs> God will orchestrate everything. Everything. You know? That girl. Ooh! That is good. That girl took time out, explained so many things to me about the internet and MBPSs or MPSs, whatever that is, and TB this. And I mean, I learned some things I did write it down, y'all. So I was supposed to talk to her. Mm-hmm. So everything is on, 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 on time. My mover reached out to me mm, last week. Mm. That's a gristle. To confirm the time when he gonna get here on that Saturday morning. Um, Nine o'clock sharp. So by noon we will be already at that apartment. And um, I will be unpacking after I, I, you know, after I eat. And I am, I'm, I'm just really now so excited, you know. Five days, y'all, five. I will be in the new place. And now, I'm, I'm going to do... <clears throat> Some videos as well. And I'll post it once we get in there. Then once everything is hung up and situated. Mm-hmm. Mm. <clears throat> this is good. Everything is scheduled for my cleanup, my walkthrough. So, yeah. One thing about me when I move out, they really don't have a whole lot to clean, but I'm not going to mop the floors. They can mop the floor. They don't have to clean the refrigerator. Stove, the cabinets. I do it as I as I pack. I clean, you know. But it's only ninety dollars, and I was like, "Well, y'all can come behind me to mop." <laughs> mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm really, I'm, uh, I'm really excited. Y'all, this is the whole chicken I did. I cut it up and put it in the oven, of course. And y'all, for my brown sauce, 
Y'all know I always use uh, flour and water, but my, my Jamaican brownie, I always put the Jamaican brownie. Once I stir the flour with all the seasonings, I put some, uh, maybe a half a teaspoon or a teaspoon of uh, Jamaican brownie. And it gives it the brown color, y'all. That's some good stuff. Really good stuff. Mm-hmm. I think I was heavy handed with the uh, red pepper flakes. There is some spice. But it's so delicious, y'all. Really good. Uh, do y'all look at Merida at first sight? I ready to love. Like a Tommy. That's my favorite. It really is my favorite. Married at first sight, you don't know who gonna be at the altar. <laughs> you married blind. I don't know about that one. Because what I'm noticing with the last two shows, the counselors pick people, you know, together to get married. But one of these girls, what I don't understand, when she was coming down the aisle, she knew immediately that she wasn't attracted to the person that they matched her to. But she still married him. I want to know what's in the clause of the contract that once you walk down the aisle, if you know that you are not attracted, that you can have to still marry them. I don't know what the clause is, but I wouldn't have. Not the way she acting. She is acting a, a true fool. And it's so hurtful to him. Mm -hmm. They're ready to love. They still in DC. The people, some of the people are interested. Mm -hmm. I can be attractive for two of the guys, but one of them, Tori. When I saw him Friday, the first thing that came out of his mouth was balls and sex. You know, that's the big, that's the biggest turn off for me. Now, y'all know I love sex. Y'all know I could talk about sex all day. But in dating, don't approach me with sex before you know me. Mm-mm. No, he asked, are, are, you, are you good? Is your sex good? This and that. I'm thinking like, dude, that's not the questions to ask. You on the first date with this girl. This woman. I think that's going to be the first and last date there is. And so that was a turn off. I thought I, I, would, I was attracted to him. And sometimes, you know, you can be attracted to somebody and then they open up their mouth and it's like, shit. Really, dude? Mm-mm. One man, the other man that I'm very attracted to is Clifton. Huh. And I, normally I'm not, I'm not attracted to thick men, but he, 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 he got a lot of stuff going. He got some substance and I like that. He really have some substance and that voice helps. He don't know how to dress though. He's 44.
uh, for my my preference. You know, it, it, he a lot he light than I than I normally choose. I like my brown chocolate brothers. But Clifton is not brown. I mean he brown, but he not, you know, brown like I like it. But it was just something about him that intrigued me. Mm-hmm. I think it's just conversation, you know. When you have substance, that's a beautiful thing, you know. Connection at the beginning is a beautiful thing, too. Attraction. I have to be attracted to you. If I'm attracted to you, there's a possibility of a few things. And that's a true story. Mmm, I'm telling y'all something. Yesterday I received a call from my, one of my long ago friends, Jess Angie. We met at the TV station. She had her show, and I had mine. Remember, I had uh, Living Safe, Living Single, Living Single, Living Safe. She called me yesterday, and uh, she's getting married. And uh, but she said the reason that she really called me, she want me to teach her and her future husband how to two step, so they can do this small two step and dance at their wedding. As you also sent me an invitation to the wedding, but actually they're coming to my new home on uh, weekend after next and I'm going to do some hors d'oeuvres and we're going to have a couple of drinks and I'm actually going to teach them how to do simple two-stepping. Mm -hmm. I thought that was very honorable. You know, you don't know who's thinking about you. You know, you never know who's thinking about you because I haven't talked to her for a long time. You know, once I move to Frisco and came back and here we you know one thing we had in common was soul food honey baby we go to the, this 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 is it and we eat that soul food but um I was very honored uh for that y'all really so we're gonna do a video because I want to do a video that after that because that next weekend she's gonna be married but they can look at it and still practice you know Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whistle. So, yeah. Yeah. And I know everything happened for a reason. I, you know, I don't know why it was me that she chose. God doing something. <laughs> So it's going to be fun. I think I'm going to do some chicken wings and deviled eggs. Mm -hmm. Or some kind of dip. I'm not going to do the seven layer dip because I'm doing the seven layer dip for uh, Super Bowl. Or maybe not. I may do another dip that I use with my Jimmy Dean Sage sausage and, and uh, cream cheese and Rotel. I might do that one for Super Bowl and do the seven layer dip for the dance class. So she said, she called me again today. She said, I want to bring you your favorite drink. And I'm like, you know what? No, don't do that. This is going to be a wedding gift for you. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited to do that for them, you know? And to be there and see them do it. Mm-hmm. That's going to be exciting. I thought that was that gristle came back over here. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Well, one thing for sure. Love comes when it's when it's uh, supposed to come. And at the time that God preset, it's going to come. Mm -hmm. I told y'all, that's why I wait. I'm not in a rush for anything. Because, you know, I'm so happy. I'm so joyful. Joy joyful. I'm so joyful, y'all. You know? I have some beautiful things. Gorgeous. I, I don't have, I can't complain about anything. Nothing. But yeah, I want love. But I'm not going to rush it. In God's time, when it's his time, and I know I'm going to have it, and I, and I know when he do it, it's going to be something absolutely more beautiful than I can ever think of. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I'm okay with that. Mmm. Y'all, this food is good. And y'all see, I have cleaned my plate. But I'll say it again. And I know some of you have watched me from the beginning. It's something about a Sunday after church meal that I eat all of it. You know? All of it. And this past weekend, y'all, this weekend, actually, uh, I did some blue crabs and shrimp, and I didn't even record. Because <sighs> I'm thinking, like, I'll, I'll upload a lot of them. And then I went in the mood to record. Me and Yolanda got together on yesterday, and it's been a long time, y'all. It felt really good, you know? Mm -hmm. When I went to go pick her up and she came to the car, I got out and I hugged her like I always have done. I told her, let me tell you something, I'm still the same girl. When you are genuine with yourself, when you love yourself, when you believe in you, you are transparent, you know? <clears throat> The only thing that changes with me is when I grow. My growth. And you'll see the growth. You know? But it felt good. Oh, that's that bang. Y'all saw that? That's a no-no. It felt good to see her. Um, we, we hung out for five hours. You know what I mean? Or six. And then we ended it with uh, some Mexican food. Y'all, there's some long veins in this leg. And it felt good. And then I told her to go home. Mm. That, that's a good dinner. Go home and look at the Texas, uh, the um, Tender Swindler. If y'all haven't saw that on Netflix, you got to go see it and look what Simon did. It's called, uh, you know that, I think it's a dating site tender. Uh-huh. i never been on that one. He was smooth with this shit, but he got caught. <laughs> but he a smooth man. So go see Texas Swindle. It's good. It's interesting. It'll keep you captivated. But I'm going to tell you something. It's, it's some um, people out here that... Miss they sleep at night trying to find out how they can take something from you, you know. And so, yeah, it's amazing to me. There's some clever, clever people out here. That will do it <laughs> to the most elite people, you know. Mm-hmm. I'm definitely going to look at it again because I was very intrigued with it. All right, y'all. Dinner is done. Thank y'all for coming. Don't forget to thumbs me up and like and do whatever y'all have, you know, you want to do. I can't make y'all do anything. But uh, I appreciate for all of you guys that keep coming back 
and uh, commenting. I love the comments. And uh, thumbs me up and liking, you know, do whatever your heart want to do, period. I love y'all. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Y'all ready to sing? Oh, we haven't sung for, oh, two weeks. Y'all, come on. I know our voice is probably raggedy, but I was singing with the choir today, so maybe mine don't sound too bad, but y'all know I'm not a singer, but I was singing today. <laughs> so let's get ready, y'all. It's time to say goodbye for now. We have another chance around on the other side. So whatever y'all do for the rest of this day. Do it good, do it with purpose, and do it with what? Genuine wine love. Peace out, sisters. <laughs>